Oh, it's just a cell split. Okay, so this one is already um, uh, closed. So they think, what can I do? With the right click, I have this option, change document status to open, but it is not open to apply another payment. It is open to create, to apply a credit memo and to get the credit memo link to this one, okay? Uh, you know what? I don't want to uh, apply a credit memo against this one because I only have one kit in this one and I don't want to change it. <laughs> so let me just go, uh, this is a cancel. Let me go very quickly to one that is closed. This one, this one is closed, okay? So I already have three items in here. So right click, change document status to open. So now do you see the status change to open? And of course I need to update. So when I do the update, the copy to is active now. So I can just click in there, copy to. It could be a return request, right? And we can we could use the RMA functionality, the service calls, everything before actually accepting the credit uh, for the, from the customer. But I could do this, I can just create this one. Um, it would be applied, but I'll, let me just check that. Actually, it's only for the line in the item in line two. So let me just remove this. And in here with the credit, uh, we have two options. Maybe they are actually returning the item. So the item would come back to my inventory, but it could be that, yeah, what if the sales is overseas? Actually, that is not happening. What if it is a machine? It is really high volume, very heavy. So maybe it is not worth it just for them to return the actual item. Sometimes it is the, if you, an item that costs pennies, uh, the, only the shipping is uh, cost more on processing this one. So what you could do is process the credit memo and make visible this uh, without quantity posting. If I don't do this, let me just check with you for the ones of you that are interested in the accounting, um, uh, just, just to check the accounting side of this one. So if I don't check it, of course, I will be affecting my revenue, right? Uh, sales taxes according to the item, um, the printer, the inventory returns, everything will be just affecting the inventory and the cost of sales, right? But um, if I check this one without quantity posting, the effect will be quite different because of course the I already incur in my cost of sales and I, I don't have the inventory any longer with me. So basically it is only between account receivables and the revenue and of course the sales tax. But um, but basically that's it. The inventory is not affecting. So this is another option just to work with your credit memo. So let me just go and create this uh, and uh, create this uh, credit memo. Uh, so, and then we can just go uh, credit memo. Yes, yes, enter. And so now let me just go and do a refresh to the actual document, right? So now it is closed again. If I go to the relationship map, so now I have in there my uh, credit name linked to it, okay? So that is one option that you have. Uh, same thing, um, you can just do it with the right click Right now, I don't really did it, right? But uh, let me just check if I have another closing in this one. Oops. Uh, I have the change document status to open and you have the same thing here under the advanced option, change document status to open, okay? So basically that is how to apply a credit memo for an invoice that was already paid.